Ava, should I get started? Okay. Usually we give it a little extra minute or two, but um, since we're live on, on Facebook and we're recording, we'll get started right now. So welcome everyone. I'm so happy to be here. I'm tuning in from Native Springs Oasis. You may recognize this background here. I feel so privileged to be in the seat right here, right now. Um, and I feel so privileged to be on this call with all of you. I'm and privileged to be part of the Million Mom Council. So thank you so much and uh, welcome everyone. My name is Allison, for those who don't know me. Um, yes, I have been with Million Mom Movement for just a few, well, I've been a part of the movement for over five years now. And I've been on the council for just a few weeks. So this is still new. I'm so passionate about the Million Mom Movement because it is a community that I so needed as a mom. I had been praying for its like-minded health warriors, you know, people who are looking out for their children and my children and all of our children together because it is all collective, you know, for a better future, for seven generations to come. You know, we want to, not just for our own children, but to really ensure a healthy path for our our families for generations ahead and for our society our communities and um societies at large so the we want to um start with reading the pledge today uh if if anyone would like to volunteer to read today's pledge please um or i can call on I, i'd like to call on pamela to read today please thank you pamela Uh, thank you, Allison. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement. Thank you. Yes, you are. Yes, we are. Pamela, thank you so much. You read that so beautifully. Uh, can I just hear from you quickly? What does that? What does this uh, mean to you? The the pledge and saying those words. Oh, she can't unmute. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pamela, um, go ahead. What does it mean? When I, well, when I first joined it, I don't know how much it really meant, but as I got to know that the Million Mom movement isn't just moms, like when I first found this group, I kind of stumbled on it and thought, oh, I shouldn't even be here because, I mean, my daughter's grown. But then I realized that Anybody who cares about what our kids eat, it doesn't matter who you are and want to like spread this message of our kids can't be eating the crap that they're eating. It, it means a lot because I'm running a kid's church and, you know, we, I, I look at that when, when I, when I, you know, give them snacks and stuff. So it doesn't matter who you are. And the more you just read that, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And I almost want to cry when I read it now. So I love reading it. That's why I volunteer to read it. Thank you. Yes, we all have a responsibility in our communities, whether it's, you know, yeah, well, and your 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 kids may be grown up, but they're still, you know, we're we're they're still your children. And, but it's also the whole community. It's not just our children. It's not our personal children. It's, it's the, it's all the children. And so whatever capacity we can inspire, um, some education, some empowerment in, um, other moms and other caregivers and the children that we just know in our community, because it takes a village. So thank you so much, Pamela, for doing your part in, empowering. So today we're going to talk about building muscle. We're going to be talking about clean fuel for plant-powered gains. So building muscle and staying fit on a plant-based lifestyle. I'm really excited and passionate about this topic and we're going to we're going to cover, you know, what um what some of the tools that you can find in Perium 
to build your muscle. Cause a lot of people come in, they're actually scared of cleansing. They're scared of the word cleanse because they think that means um, muscle wasting or, you know, lose it. It means like weight loss only. And yes, we have, we've seen, you know, if you've been following this movement, you know, there's incredible weight loss success stories, but that's not everyone's goal. And so actually it's amazing how we can adapt this to actually be for people who want to gain and people who want to gain muscle, we can adapt this. And so we're going to share with you some of the products in Purium that help with that and the lifestyle around it. And then hear from some really inspiring people who are living proof of, of this, you know, of this lifestyle. So um, before we get into the products, are we going to do, sorry, um, is it, uh, should we do in the news? Absolutely. I'm just Thank ready you. for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Super excited for this topic today. We have so much to share with you. And so talking about muscles, building muscles, protein, we wanted to highlight the amino acids because our amino acids are so high grade. They were formulated by a doctor. They have so many benefits of helping you build muscle. And if you're losing weight, they help you lose weight and burn fat. And then they help your skin elasticity as well. So it has so many um, incredible benefits. And that's just to name a few. So first, let's look at the basics. How does your body build muscle? So during weight bearing exercise, microscopic tears are created in the muscle fibers, which lead to inflammation and increased blood supply to the affected area. So this brings lots of substances to the area to help repair and grow muscle tissue. And so protein is one of the substances. Proteins are made up of smaller building blocks called amino acids. There are many types of amino acids, but 20 of them are considered essential to maintain your body's healthy function. So meat from animals contains all of the essential amino acids your body needs. Um, and they're saying here, not with plants, but that, that that's not necessarily true. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. While plant-based diets are often do contain all the essential amino acids um, in aggregate, any one plant-based food will not. So if you're just eating one food, you're not getting all your amino acids. That's why it's important to incorporate your different flex foods with the aminos because it actually helps to um, complete all of the building blocks. So there's lots to be shared about amino acids, but I have an even more exciting article for you all. And this one is from Game Changers. So I'm curious if you guys have watched Game Changers, go ahead and drop a one in the comments and a, a two if you have not yet, because this is an incredible, incredible movie to watch and to share. You know, there's a great movie to have as a watch party, to get some friends together, watch it together and really create an event around it. So this, I love the saying at the top, you hit like a vegetarian by Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Because it's so important that with a plant-based diet doesn't mean that you have muscle loss. So the stereotype of weak, skinny, vegan has become a universal that most people would have hard time believing any person of significant size or strength didn't eat meat or other animal products. This is because we've been conditioned to believe that you need to eat lots of animal protein to build muscle and strength, and that protein really only comes from animal foods. Of course, only one of those two beliefs is actually true. As anyone who has ever seen an herbivorous silverback gorilla can easily deduce, right? They're huge animals. They have lots of muscle. Most people, however, seem to think that humans are more like lions, requiring meat or some form of animal protein at every meal to get big and strong. As discussed in What About Protein, there are many reasons for how this myth became so ingrained in the popular culture. But the reality is that from the hippie culture in the 60s until fairly recently, a lot of those who followed a plant-based diet were pretty skinny. This is partly because for several decades, most people who chose meat and animal-free diets did so solely for ethical, environmental, or health reasons and didn't really care about having to build muscle. So those who did care often lacked the basic nutritional understanding necessary to build muscle and strength eating plants. So as evidence in Game Changers, all of that has changed. The age of the week, celery munching vegan is over. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger, the god godfather of muscle and strength, is now advising people to just chill it with the meat. 
acknowledging that there is no reason why eating plant-based diet should pose any barriers to getting big and strong and that doing so may even offer significant advantages. So here's some of the basics. Caloric sur surplus. Building muscle and strength is actually pretty simple from a uh, physiological point of view. Work out consistently and eat lots of food. If you train hard, but you don't eat enough, or eat lots of food, but don't train enough, you probably won't gain muscle much or get much stronger. This applies to everyone, whether you eat meat or not. For novice lifters, eating lots of food means consuming 20 to 40% more calories than required for daily maintenance. And for more advanced lifters, 10 to 20% more. One of the greatest things about plant-based food is that by volume, it typically contains fewer calories than animal-based foods, allowing us to eat more total food and feel fuller without necessarily gaining more body fat. You can find out more um, on this link, and we'll be sharing this link in the in the chat as well as in the Million Mom Movement official, so you can go and click on the various links because it's such an interesting article especially to share out into our community. For people whose top priority is to gain muscle and strength, people on a plant-based diet need to focus on plant-based foods that have higher caloric density than, say, lettuce. Generally speaking, this means that making sure that the meals and snacks include hefty amounts of grains, beans, tofu, tempeh, um, meat, dairy alternatives, nuts, butter, nut butters, seeds, avocados, dried fruit, etc., and additional fruits and vegetables as well. Those less concerned about eating mainly whole foods can also include plant-based meats, plant-based protein powders, plant-based protein energy bars. Of course, we can we have our amazing plant-based protein powders here with Perium. And you know, you can even make your own energy bars using some nut butters, some of our protein powders, a little bit of honey, and you've got a great protein bar right there. Some people like to add oats to that or different things to thicken it up, maybe some chia seeds or hemp holes. And you've got a really great wholesome protein bar. So whatever it takes to get um, and hit the necessary caloric surplus. So getting enough protein. Um, we all know that our amino acids give us a basic amount of proteins by taking at least five a day. A lot of uh, us here in the community like to take up to 10 a day. And I know Dave has mentioned that he takes up to 30 in a day. So if you're somebody that's really trying to build muscle and you're really wanting to make those gains, up your amino intake, right? Getting enough protein is important for your muscle. So the next basic step is to make sure you eat enough protein because that's what muscle is made out of and can't build new muscle without it. This is That's why the aminos are so important because foods like meat, dairy, eggs usually contain a significant amount of protein despite being deficient in other key nutrients like fiber, vitamin C, folate, and potassium. People on an animal-based diet who want to gain muscle and strengthen often just eat more of the foods they're accustomed to, throwing in a protein shake or two just for good me measure. For people starting on a plant-based eating, things are a little different in part because protein isn't the first nutrient that comes to mind when they picture vegetarian or vegan food. More often than not, they just think of salad, which is what most people means lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and more shredded carrots, not exactly high protein dish. Um, which I find really interesting because there's foods like, um, chia seeds and quinoa and broccoli that are all super high in protein, even though you wouldn't think of it as protein if you're a meat eater and that's what you're used to seeing as a protein source. There's so many other foods and they're naming some here as well. Of course, in most parts of the world where meat isn't a staple, protein comes in the form of beans, peas, lentils, tofu, peanuts, nuts, seeds, and so on. In so-called developed countries, however, with the exception of peanuts, very few people regularly consume any foods mentioned above and think of plant-based foods as naturally low in protein. Hence the question people um, on plant-based diet are constantly bombarded with, where do you get your protein? Fortunately, the plant kingdom is full of protein-rich foods, which means all of the people who are looking to gain size and strength on a plant-based diet need to do um, all they need to do is educate themselves on which foods those are and include lots of them into their daily eating schedule. So specifics, as we touch on what about protein, the idea that you can get enough protein from plants and or those sources, plant 
protein are inferior has no basis or science. What is backed up by science research is how much protein animal or plant is required to increase or maximize size and strength. While the majority of people only need to eat about 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight um, to maintain good health, research focuses on gaining muscle and strength has consistently shown that considerably more protein is required. So current research suggests that most athletes between one, um, 1 1.2 and 2.0 kilograms, grams, kilograms, um, with endurance athletes on the lower end of the spectrum and bodybuilders and strength athletes towards upper end of 1.6. If your goal is to increase muscle mass and strength as quickly as possible, like professional bodybuilders or powerlifters aim to do, research shows that as much as 2.2 grams um, can be effective. So it's worth keeping in mind that people who consume this much protein, whether they eat animal products or not, commonly rely on protein powders or supplements in order to hit these higher target numbers. So that's where the aminos come in handy. All of our protein shakes, we're gonna get into that a little bit more, but I wanted to also show you, cause we're gonna be sharing the link to this article for Game Changers. But I wanted to show you right here under resources. There are some great resources here. If you are leaning towards plant-based, I know we have so many, um, you know, great recipes here at Purium, but right here, there's 10 plant-based recipes for the big game. So I know this is, you know, we already had the, the Super Bowl this last Sunday, but the meals themselves and the recipes are pretty fun and could be great for, you know, having people over. There's smashed potato nachos. They have a great recipe here for a vegan cheese as well. A uh, sweet potato queso, a mac and cheese, black bean potato quesadilla. They just have like some great recipes and other resources under this resource tab. And I was, I was just digging through the different articles and having a whole lot of fun learning more about the important nutrients and how much protein do you need to eat and so much more. And six ways to get started on a plant-based diet. Of course, our number one is the ultimate lifestyle transformation. And that's where we all start off. So back to you, Allison. Thank you so much, Naiva. That is such a incredible resource. And um, yeah, I started, I mean, the, the ULT is a great gateway. There's so many people I've helped go plant-based just because they started incorporating this in and it fills in all those missing pieces and it makes it so easy. And so for people who are looking to gain, we always recommend the ULT perform plus performance package, the, which is so complete for all of our athletes. And we're going to talk about some of those products um, I know personally, from my experience, uh, we've been plant-based for seven years and on Purium for almost six years. And what a difference, uh, you know, Purium makes because going plant-based definitely, I, I noticed some improvements in my health, but adding that Purium in, it made, gave me so much energy and it made me want to start like doing push-ups and muscle building and Jared as well. My husband, who's sitting here, he had an amazing, um, you know, transformation. So we know that is so amazing. This, some of the products that we always recommend for people who are looking to build, we say, uh, well, the aminos, as you can see in the chat, a lot of people are talking about those aminos. Uh, we recommend for athletes minimum, like 15 a day to really, you know, really feed those muscles we also uh, recommend the MVP protein shake, which is the cleanest, most delicious protein shake on the planet. I've compared it to every other protein shake. There's no comparison. The taste and the ingredients and the nutritional value is next to none. And it's also in home compostable packaging, of course. So we love that. Um, but it's, there's like adaptogen mushrooms in there. It's all organic. It's all food. Amazing. And we, so that the, the MVP comes in chocolate or vanilla. Um, I love both of them. And we also talk about super life formula. So, um, that is part of that package. I personally haven't had super life formula, but we're going to hear from Dennis, who I know has, and some other athletes. So, um, I'd like to welcome our first guest, and then we're going to hear from some other council members on their families and what they've noticed. But if we can have uh, Dennis, if you're out there, yeah, 
Um, if you can come out here and share Dennis, I've, I've witnessed Dennis. Uh, he inspires me every day and Dennis just turned 52. I had to just add that in there. So please take it away, Dennis. <laughs> 52 going on 42. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, wow. Thank you so much, um, Allison, for this opportunity. Um, and to be presenting at the Million Moms Movement. Um, the Million Moms Movement's been a, a real voice for me in my, um, you know, my parenting um, with my with my ex. So, you know, they've been a strong voice to, to help me with, um, you know, um, making sure that my daughter is getting the right nutrients into her body. So that's, uh, I really, she does the epigenius. Uh, she loves it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool um what do you want to talk about <laughs> okay well i want to hear from you um your experience i know you were on this journey of you know you're on this uh fitness journey before purium came in but i'd love to hear from you uh what changed with purium like why purium and why are you advocating you know what has it done for you and your uh physical fitness performance abilities right okay so what i want to talk about what is something that i did this week so i just I'm doing a uh, five day fruit fast. Um, I did all organic grapes. Um, we had a bunch of people from the Purium community that joined me. Uh, Michael, the abundant yogi, Julie Brar, Tammy Trissel, Gina Eves, Vincent Gordet uh, joined in. So there was a bunch of people there and everybody did different fruits. Um, but I incorporated the super amino. So I was doing three great meals a day um, and incorporating five uh super amino tablets with each meal and wow it put me into uh another galaxy <laughs> it was uh, pretty incredible um how i feel um i probably lost i don't know about five pounds this week and sustaining all my muscle the super aminos are incredible they're fermented um you know so uh they're pre-digested so it doesn't affect the fast so that's great combination, the, the super aminos along with a great fast. So if anybody's inclined to do that, man, I, 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 I highly recommend it. It's incredible. Look, I, <laughs> like it's, a, it's no muscle really, loss, that no muscle loss at all. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, I started with Purium, um, 28 months ago, I started with the immune, uh, ULT, but I quickly moved into the performance. <clears throat> I love the performance ULT. I love the super aminos. I love the super xanthan, um, um, the, the super lights, the cocoa hydrate. Um, whenever I'm doing yoga, for sure, all four of those, the, the can't beat this is going into my water bottle. I used to, and I do a lot of cycling as well. So, um, you know, um, I used to get leg cramps all the time after hot yoga, hot power yoga, or when I was cycling, that's a thing of the past. So um, electrolytes, rehydration, all of that is incredible. Very incredible. Um, as far, uh, so I do a lot of the MVP sport um, proteins as well. I'm not um, an advocate for a high protein diet. I, I'm really not. I um, am like a 80, 10, 10. I'm all about longevity. Um, you know, I have goals to be a centenarian. So, um, you know, I, I keep my protein low, but I do do the, um, Purium proteins, but I do them more for, you know, adding new flavors into, you know, my, uh, into the power shake, you know, I'll add the, 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 the chocolate, the MVP sport chocolate and the chocolate just overwhelms the power shake and it's just a chocolate shake, but you still have all those beautiful power shake nutrients. So, so it's incredible. Um, Getting to animal protein, um, come on guys, like animal protein has zero fiber, it's highly acidic, it takes two to three days to digest. So, I mean, plant protein is, is so clean. All plants have all nine essential amino acids. So some of them might be low, okay? So if you're only eating one plant product, you might be low in one of those essential amino acids. But if you're eating a variety, then you're getting all nine of your essential amino acids. And what I love about it, it's more in the, the percentage of the amount of protein that you should that you should have, right? So, yeah. 
I love that you come at, at this from a longevity point of view, because there's so many fitness people who are just about that immediate, you know, they want to look amazing right now. And so they'll like, even you see it all the time in uh competitive, you know, bodybuilding that they like destroy their bodies just to look good for that, like competition or that picture. And, um, and so you're a pro like, you've achieved the results, but coming at it from a health perspective, which needs to be at the forefront of all fitness. I mean, it shouldn't be about your physical appearance. It, I mean, it, it's a, the physical appearance will come, but it should be about how your, you know, your health, your longevity and your, your quality of life. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like you don't see any bodybuilding centenarians. OK, I'm actually trying to reduce my muscle size. Um, so that's and, and, and I attribute that to, you know, I want a lean, lean physique for longevity. I believe that. Um, but <laughs> it's hard when I'm doing all these superfoods uh, because I, I could sustain the muscle that I have. It's so easy. Um, yeah, I really, uh, you know, and the MVP sports got so many good things. It's got maca, shaga, turmeric, you know, probiotics, right? There's so many nutrients in there as well as the protein. And it's a clean protein. It's a vegan protein. Um, yeah, I'm all about clean eating. That's what kind of led me to, um, Purium. You know, I went vegan five years ago and, and learned all about health and just, it was the, the natural progression for me, you know, trying to get healthier and healthier and finding the, the cleanest, healthiest food. And lo and behold, Purium came into my life and that was 28 months ago. Um, yeah, it's been incredible. Amazing. Won't be stopped time soon, I promise you. <laughs> well, yes, and hundred, hundreds of years, probably <laughs> on for many, many years to come. Um, but yeah, you're amazing. You're so inspiring. And I love that you're, you know, even trying to see it's like when your mindset is right and you're not just doing like he's trying to like lose some of his muscle, but he's doing it for the right reasons. His whole gaining is for health. So you you come to it easier than when people are putting this, you know, um, they're just trying to. Anyway, I know that that's a very inspiring story for a lot of people to hear you say that you're even trying to reduce because it's it's hard to reduce when you're getting all of that clean protein and, um, you know, fuel that makes you just it like it, it makes you a powerhouse like you don't want to stop. So um, very, really, really inspiring. I know in in the hot yoga community that I'm in, I I with I I out perform I can do two classes in a row no problem I have so much energy and I know my my friends my brothers and sisters who are you know eating a lot of meat and stuff they have a harder time to sustain um and have that energy for a long period so I think it's you know it's really untapped we don't know there's still like there's still so much information and you know many people saying different things but what we could all do is experiment in our own body and see what happens. And I, you know, I encourage anyone out there to even just try 30 days plant-based with the ULT and see what happens in their body. Um, I want to open it up to some of my council members. I know um, Tammy and, and Sherry and Naiva all have some amazing family member stories to share. So um, let's start with Sherry, if you can share about your, your son and what it's done for him. Sure, thank you. Dennis, the story is amazing. I, I completely resonate with the goal to be a centenarian because I, that's my goal as well. Um, and it's a goal that I'd love, uh, that I'm hoping that my kids will adapt. And uh, you know, that's 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 the Million Mom movement plays such a huge role in all of that, like you were saying, um, such a huge voice and a great opportunity, not just for ourselves, but for our kids to see that, you know, hey, there are people out there who care about the future generations who care about our, our, our planet, uh, the health of our planet and the health of, you know, us and them and how important that is. And it starts with us. So um, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for being on today. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, um, it's a, a, 
perfect call I feel for it this week um, in terms of what my family and I have been through. Um, so on Tuesday, we had a scare in our family. Um, my son, uh, Jordan, my oldest son, who is 13. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know that he has type 1 diabetes. He was diagnosed in 2018 and his diagnosis really kind of paved a completely different path for me in terms of where I was headed uh, with my coaching business. I was just becoming a licensed holistic nutrition and health coach. I was in the finishing months of it. Um, I'd already implemented so many changes in our health and our lifestyles based on what I was learning. I really thought that we were doing all the right things. Um, and then <laughs> at eight years old, he gets hit with his diagnosis and completely knocks me off my feet um, and sends me all the way back into research, um, trying to get the answers that nobody could provide, right? Because uh, type one diabetes is an autoimmune condition, um, it attacks the pancreas and nobody knows why. Doctors don't know why, medicine doesn't know why, science doesn't know why. And so um, I wasn't okay with not having these answers in order to help my son thrive, which I believed he could still, even with a diagnosis like that. Um, he's also an athlete, he's a hockey player um, and he's a really good hockey player. Um, and some of his happiest moments are spent on the ice. And there was a, there was a time where right after his diagnosis, we thought that he might have to um, at the very least, seriously reduce um, the intensity that he was playing his sport or perhaps stop playing altogether. Um, and that just wasn't okay with me. And um, so that was really a driving force that threw me back into research and eventually led me to Purium, led me to gut health um, and, you know, essentially gave me the missing pieces uh, that really helped me to not just help my son, but has now been able to help me help so many other people uh, because I have this new understanding and these missing pieces that I was never taught in school. Um, and so this week, my son went into, um, due to a complication of food poisoning while he was on vacation, um, it sent him into DKA, which for a type one diabetic, that's called, that's a diabetic ketoacetosis which essentially means that the glucose uh, was not, um, the insulin was not covering the, the amount of glucose um, and the glucose was essentially circulating his system um, and was creating acidity and was essentially poisoning him from the inside out. And all of this happened extremely quickly um, and it's a life-threatening condition for a type one diabetic. Um, and so uh, in the midst of me trying to get him prepped to go to the hospital, he actually collapsed and we had to call 911 um, and he was admitted to the ICU and he spent um, about 13 hours uh, in the ICU coming out of this DKA state. Now, usually it takes type one diabetics a whole lot longer to come out of this state. Um, and also when, a, when someone is in a DKA state, what happens is because the glucose is not being utilized properly by the body, the body in a panic starts to attack muscle. Okay, and starts to use the muscle and starts to eat away at the muscle. Now, when my son was diagnosed with this in 2018, we saw this happen over the course of the weeks come, uh, before his diagnosis, he was losing muscle mass and fast. Um, I couldn't understand why, and this was really concerning to me. I've come to understand why, um, but the difference here now, back then, unfortunately, we didn't have Purim in our life yet. Um, and so again, while we were you know, doing what I thought was all the right things, we were so missing, we were so lacking. Um, and so it took quite a while after his diagnosis to get him back to a place of, you know, being the, you know, getting his weight back and getting his muscle mass back. He looks so frail. Um, this time around, thankfully that didn't happen. So he did not lose any muscle mass. Um, he did lose a little bit of weight and that's okay. He'll gain it back as his appetite is improving. Um, but he did not lose any muscle mass. And I believe that that's because he's on, he uses super aminos on a daily basis. Uh, we started doing that, um, fairly early on, just as part of everything else that I was implementing for him, you know, biomedic and uh, power, power shake and apothecary. Um, and he has the MVP sport proteins um, after every game that he plays, after every practice that he plays, that's essentially about six to seven times a week, sometimes twice a day. Um, and, you know, because he has this foundation, um, not only did he not lose any muscle mass, but he came out of it very, very quickly. And I mean, he came, he, uh, came out of the ICU on Wednesday, eve, uh, Wednesday late afternoon. And by last night he was playing a hockey game, you know, so like an, a, a season hockey game with his team on the ice and he played really well and he kept up and he played every shift. Um, and that I know without a, without a shadow of a doubt is a testament to 
um, to Purium, to these amazing superfoods. And the super aminos are such a large part of that. You know, he has already hit puberty. Um, and so the super aminos are just something, it's a no brainer. Um, as an athlete, you know, he started going to the gym too. So he has his, if they call it off ice training. Um, and so he does that about two to three times a week. And, you know, now that he's 13, he's starting to see some gains and he's really proud of that. And he feels stronger. Um, and he feel, feels a lot more fit. And it's so ironic because um, when he was first, you know, becoming a more serious hockey player, we'd have like coaches and trainers tell us all the time, like, he's really tiny. You got to like beef him up, you know, give him a lot of pasta, feed him some meat. Um, and I, <laughs> that was such a ridiculous way to go about it. It made no sense to me. In my practice, I, um, I see it all too often, too often, in fact. Um, it's one of the most common reasons uh, clients come to me. They want, you know, to eat, they think they need more protein. And I'm always telling them it's not the, the quantity of protein, it's the quality. We want clean protein. Um, and lentils has always been uh, one of the first uh, first choices of protein hands down because I see it with Jordan with his type one diabetes. It's the one protein you can give them that will not spike his glucose in the least and just gives them a really good clean fast burning protein uh, source. And so, you know, these aminos, it makes perfect sense that they have the, you know, fermented, dry fermented uh, lentils um, and why, you know, they're, he's seeing such amazing results with them. And so, of course, we never went the, you know, feed them more pasta meat way. Um, I prefer to do it with nice, clean plant-based protein, especially now that we are for the past three years. 100% plant-based vegan. And that, by the way, was um, initiated by my son, who was a huge plant and meat eater before, loved his pizza, loved his uh, ice cream. But when he started to feel the differences with Purium, he was like, why stop there? I want to feel like this all the time. Why would I um, risk not feeling this great? And so let's do it. Let's become 100% plant-based. And so the whole family jumped on board with him and we all did it together. We were about 85% plant-based already. So it wasn't that big a shock to the system, but um, it's been sustainable and the gains he sees are real. And definitely this past week has given me another reminder, not that I needed it because I'm thankful for Purium on a daily basis, uh, but definitely this week has reminded me um, just how essential a healthy foundation is and what a huge part Purium plays in that. Amazing. Wow. I'm so happy that you had these tools and that you're his mama and that you were able to, you know, you're able to make him because like you're, you're not saying, Hey, this is going to completely heal your type one diabetes. But what it will do is make his symptoms totally under control and manageable. And you know what to do should something happen, you have tools at your fingertips. So absolutely. Like it's always about, it's always about knowing how to thrive with the diagnosis, right? Forget, it's almost, you gotta forget the diagnosis. You gotta bring your body back to a place of thriving. And we get to do this with these amazing tools. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much, Sherry. Very inspiring. And I know um, Tammy as well. Do you want to share, Tammy? I don't know if, yeah, because I know your your kids are building muscle and you too. Oh, sh oh Tammy, you're not on, on mute. Uh, are you able to unmute, Tammy? <laughs> Oh, now it let me. Hi, everybody. Um, so if you don't know me, my name's Tammy Trissel. I've been on Perium for three years now. Uh, my daughter is 18 and she was really heavy into sports, a lot of softball and got into bodybuilding. And Perium has completely transformed uh, her workout routine. She doesn't miss days in the gym. The doctors were saying that she was gonna need cortisone shots for her knees and she started taking the joint flex and she's 100% all better. Um, the muscle gains that this girl has had, you can look on my Facebook page to see her muscles. She's she's ripped, chiseled. Uh, she amazes me the amount of weight that she can lift and she's doing I'm phenomenal. Sweet. She takes her Purium every day and Harvey is seven and Harvey loves caramel apple fiber on his toast. No, no I don't. Oh, you don't? <laughs> But you ate some this morning, all week, every day. Uh -huh. um, and I am doing the grape mono fruit feast with Dennis. And I've done it before. 
um, to reverse Crohn's and all kinds of other ailments that I was dealing with. So this is not my first time fruit feasting, but Harvey and I just went and jumped for 90 minutes with his cousins at the Sky Zone Jump Place. And this is day three for me doing nothing but aminos and grapes. And I'm telling you guys, I was jumping circles around all the kids. They were, they were just like, look at this lady go. They couldn't keep up with me. So if you think you're not going to have energy doing this, it's a big misconception. Um, I have so much energy I'm so and I'm just excited to see what else my body can do. I was at the gym yesterday doing cardio, lifting weights the day before, you know, doing nothing but aminos and grapes. And I feel phenomenal. So I'm going to keep doing it. Keep going. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to share today. Thanks, Tammy. Wow. See, when you're on the lifestyle, you can kind of get deeper into your healing with these so superfoods. It gives yeah, you and my a... and my nephews were like, "What are you doing now?" You know, they're watching because I did a water fast at the beginning of the month, and they're like, "Are you eating now?" And I'm like, "Well, today I'm only eating grapes." So you know, it's inspiring them. And then my nephew, he's like, "I gave up candy for Lent," and he gave me his candy. He's like, "Give it back to me in 40 days." I'm like, "All right, let's do this." So it's so cute to see who we inspire. Amazing. Thank you so much, Sherry. And Naiva, I want, uh, I, I mean, we're going to get to a few other shares because we want, we have two other share or three other shares here. So um, Naiva, please share your story with. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I love hearing from everybody, all the incredible shares, you know, I have, I, I love all of the Purium products. I have a 15 year old son soon to be 16 next month. And he is a, an athlete. He's a football player. He just got done with canoe season. And you know what? Like all of his coaches are so proud of him because he is like, what you know he's such a good player on the team like he's so good at everything he does he has so much energy when you ask him to go do something he doesn't just like walk across the field to go do the thing he like runs there and runs back like everything is like full energy he has been doing we've been doing smoothies in the morning for quite some time now and I always put spirulina in the smoothies which is super high protein and so we do you know fruit smoothies with some spirulina and sometimes we'll add other things like ionic elements for mineral content and you know just splash in some different things depending on what we're wanting sometimes some can't beat this for extra energy or other superfoods that we're wanting to add you know as we all like to mix and match the different things but he absolutely loves the proteins he's all about having a protein shake after school between school and practice he comes home and he's like mom make me a protein shake and sometimes I even actually had to get him his own blender like the little handheld blender because I was like this one is yours that way he can like make it himself he can you know have responsibility over just feeling like it's his his thing that he's doing and he his favorites are um he really likes the coffee protein. Um, and so that's like his go-to, but he's started transition to like the MVP chocolate and then mixing in the Epigenius family into that to make it more chocolatey and having fun with that. And yesterday I even suggested to him, I was like, have you tried the MVP uh, chocolate with the, co uh, what is it? The cocoa mint spirulina, because he was saying that the MVP alone is, uh, you know, not so sweet, not so chocolatey. And I was like, well, add in the cocoa mint spirulina. Cause then you're going to be getting the spirulina. That's high protein. You're going to be getting extra you know cacao so it's more chocolatey and a little bit of minty and so he tried that yesterday and he was really loving it so those are some of his go-tos and then adding in like super xanthan um you know for muscle recovery and the super life formula for his hormones and just helping with his stamina those are really like his go-tos and I actually make him I have a tray of little containers and every couple of weeks I just fill them with the aminos and the super life and the super xanthan and that way every day he just has a little container and he literally every morning with his smoothie he just takes all of those supplements so he's really powered by Perium and He's all his teams so far, his canoe races won almost all of their races. They just went to States on the big Island this last week. And then all of his football team, I think they won like six out of eight games or something. So I attribute it to, you know, he's such a good player and of course it's team sports. So it's not just him, but I really do think that, you know, the superfoods have helped him to have the strength, the stamina and the energy to just push forward 
Um, and he's just a great athlete. And of course, I could go on and on because I have other children and myself and my husband. We love all of the superfoods. We have a plethora. You know, we try to keep a rotation of like most of what Purium offers in our household. Um, but I'd love to pass it on, pass it back to you, Allison, for the other guests to have time to share it as well. Yeah, thank you so much. It's amazing. And yeah, you can mix and match. And I love how you can add it, you know, the chocolate into your green juice. You don't even taste the greens. It's amazing. But um, there's so many different things you can do. And thank you for that, all that suggestion. Um, let's bring, let's open it to, we're going to have three shares here from Boo. Please unmute yourself first and give us your share. Hi, thank you so much. And thank you for this call. It's my favorite call of the week. So thank you for all you do to bring it together. And I'm resonating so much with like what Dennis said. I'm also, I'm plant-based, I'm high raw. And um, I love the what you're doing with the aminos and the fruits. So that's, I'm going to definitely give that a try. And Naeva, I, the chocolate, the cocoa, um, mint spirulina and the chocolate. I had a chocolate addiction before I came to this company. And the the program, the 90 day way, helped me release my chocolate addiction. And now I use the chocolate shakes. Oh, did we lose Boo? Oh, there. Oh, Boo, you're on mute. Somehow. <laughs> Is it unmuted? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Um, but what I wanted to share, because I'm hearing all these fabulous stories, all these fabulous transformations, and I've been plant-based for 20 years, but very few of us started this way. And for those people starting out, and I have a couple of guests on who I know are not plant-based, it's like meet yourself where you're at. And we have a thing called subtraction by addition. So add the aminos in, add the superfoods in, and don't deprive yourself. This isn't about deprivation. And just by adding it in, it's subtraction by addition, adding these in. And eventually the things that do not serve you will fall by the wayside and your gut will heal. And your because right now we're sometimes feeding our bad bacteria is asking for all these foods that don't serve us. And when we can correct the bacteria with the 90 day way, we bring the body into homeostasis and we start craving the right things and we see the results, we hear the results that people are getting. And I just thrive on this. I'm so grateful as a plant-based eater to have a high quality protein to put in my body. So I just wanted to share that and have some compassion for those on their journey. Yes, thank you for bringing that um, up, Boo, so compassionately. This is not about judging. This is not about um, anything like that, actually. This is a completely open space. And this is like for everyone, because everyone, once they add this in, are going to just make better choices naturally. So I always like, I love everything you said there, Boo. And for everyone who's just starting on this journey, don't feel scared. Trust the process. It's beautiful. And it's just a journey. Um, so yeah, we're going to hear from someone else who just started their ULT as well. A friend of mine from Montreal, Sunny, if you can unmute yourself, Sunny is a fitness coach, bodybuilder, you know, totally motivating person. And so I'm so happy to hear what this is doing for, for you so far, Sunny. Hi everybody. My name is Sunny. Um, I've been a health nutrition, uh, fitness and life coach for the last uh, 20 years and, um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll be honest. I, I've I've been on a on a on a mixed journey of like bouncing from one Netflix documentary to the other, and 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 research from my coaches. Uh, meat is the best. Plant based is the best. Uh, everything is the best, but we we don't know where where to go. People are so confused, right? So I I, I took the, the the plunge of going uh, vegan, and and you know what? It was so sustainable. It was like super super easy for me. Because I had a big appetite and my only concern was, am I going to be hungry? Like, you know, so I just stock up on, on like, I like what Dennis said, like on, on the beans and, and the lentils and, and just filling yourself up, you know, and, and, um, you know, I, I've, I've, I've been new to this ULT package and, um, it's, it's surprising because I've been, um, I, I, I was on a intermittent fasting, uh, plan 
And for me, it was it was um, it was one meal a day, and I was okay. And and but I would eat a lot, right? And what I'm noticing in the last couple of weeks that I've been on this ULT ULT package is that um, my my um, I'm not as hungry. I feel like like I'll have my shake, I'll have my aminos, and 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 I and I, and I still have that high energy that I always have with my clients, and and uh, and they're looking at me and they're like but are you doing something different? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't, how do you know? Like, how do you feel like, and they just got my energy that that was different, you know? And um, it's surprising because all the nutrients we actually really need, like I'm a big smoothie addict, right? So for me, the shakes is like a, a big go-to for me. And I, I, I wake up at 3, 3, 3 45, 4, 4 o'clock in the morning, every morning. So for me, it's a, grab a shake and go grab my aminos, go my bios and, and, I, and I take them and, I, and I'm good. And I'm not even hungry. It's like it's the weirdest thing. I would have to like fuel myself on water all day long to sustain my my um, my uh, intermittent fasting till I got to my meal. And now it's it's like I, I'm almost eating at the end of the day when I when it's time for me to have my my meal, like because I have to eat, <laughs> not because I need to, you know. And and then most of the time I'll just I'll grab one shake in the morning, one one in the afternoon, and then um, when it's time for me to eat. Uh, I, um, I, I, I switched ever since I started the ULT, I, um, I started getting more and more on my, uh, my acai bowls. I love acai bowls and I just pack them up with all the proteins that we need, all the vitamins and, and fruits that we need. And, um, and normally I would come home and have like a big piece of fish or, or meat or potatoes, try to fill myself up because as an athlete, I've, I've, been, I've played hockey, soccer, and kickboxing for the last 15, 20 years, amateur and pro. And I always felt like I needed to eat a lot, but now I'm eating lighter. And uh, I never had that mentality of like the the bodybuilders where, uh, oh, let's bulk up and get chunky and eat a lot of carbs. And 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 then we'll, we'll when summer comes along, we'll, you know, we'll lean out. I just stay lean all year long. And guess what? With this, with this period, look, I'm having my shake now. <laughs> Um, it's it's incredible how I could just stay lean, keep up my muscle, and still stay strong and have my high energy, you know, on on this. And uh, I, I'm only doing the basic package. I even have I haven't even tried the performance yet. So I'm like I'm I'm gonna finish this one and I'm gonna start the performance one. I could I could just imagine what it's gonna do to me. Like uh, I I feel great, honestly. I don't know what else to say. It's just uh it's it's mind blowing because it's only three weeks I'm on this. So it's it's really surprising. And is there, if there's anything you wanted to ask me, Allison, uh, I'm all, I'm all, uh, I'm open. Thank you so much, Sonny. I am so proud of you. I'm like, it's just because, you know, hearing from someone who already, it's like when I met Sonny, he had already, he knows everything. He was already so, you know, well educated on health and to see someone with an open mind to experiment even further to see what else they're, you know, what other levels they're capable of. You're a real example, Sonny, of someone who, you know, is a forever, like, open to like getting better and you're going to help so many people with your example. And I love that this is like you said, like kind of like how Sunny said, you know, this is not for the people who are just for the show. They want to like, look, you know, good. This is for people yeah. who truly really care about their health. So um, amazing. We're going to, well, I will have you share on another call soon, but I'm going to bring it over to Kevin to um, just share quickly. And thank you so much, Sunny, for your share. So Kevin, you. uh, please give us your share. I know your story is incredible as well. Hi, how's it going? I've been with Perium for five years and, or about four years and plant-based six years. And I want to share my, one of my first customers that I had who I helped out was my cousin, David, and he's never eaten meat in his entire life. And he had gone through some health issues and drinking, and he was, you know, in the hospital um, bleeding because his liver um, wasn't working properly and his kidneys. And, you know, he was overweight and fearing, you know, a lot of challenges facing him. And he reached out to me and we talked about, you know, making shifts in his diet and eating. And it took him a minute, but he lost some weight. And then he said, you know what? I lost some weight. I want to bulk up now. I really want to bulk up. And I introduced him to the aminos uh, first. And then I introduced him to the proteins um, afterwards because he was really focused on, I want to bulk up now. And now he gained about 50 to 60 pounds of muscle. His transformation is unbelievable. He used primarily, he orders every single month, the ULT plus performance. 
every single month, very consistently. Um, he helps his clients with it now on top of being a bodybuilder for himself, also a personal trainer for others. And it's really an unbelievable transformation from him from being in the hospital, fat, sick, and nearly dead um, to basically training to be a bodybuilder and pretty much only all on Perium and all plant-based hundred percent, which is really amazing. Um, and you can see his story as well on my page or wherever, but also my mom, she was told that she was never going to be, um, she was going to be on 25 medications for her life. She was told that she had need to have surgery because she just fell and broke her wrist because she had stage three osteoporosis. She was ready to go to the hospital um, for the surgery. And I said, Hey, let's try something different. Um, I know you've been in the medical system for a long time. And she went with the aminos specifically, and the aminos helped her to heal without surgery, which was beyond amazing. I couldn't believe it. Even the results of her bone density test from the osteoporosis went down uh, by 50%, a 200% increase, which the doctor said they've never seen, which was really unbelievable. And she was able to go to the gym for the first time since she was in high school. She's like in her fifties. So she's able to work out since she was in high school. And then for me, I, I was told I was never going to be able to work out ever again. I was the people that suffered from my autoimmune disease. They, they either those that survive it, they're in a wheelchair and they're on disability. They can't move their spine and it's completely immovable. And you're told you're not supposed to work out or, or anything. So I was told I was basically facing disability in the future. So I'm just grateful that I can also work out and go to the gym and be physical. Um, so yeah, so that's what I wanted to share. Um, and I mean, the superfoods and Perium is really the key to most of these. I mean, most of my family now overcoming a lot of this, a lot of their challenges. Uh, it's amazing, Kevin. I'm so watching you help your family like this is so inspiring. I know so many of us are doing it, not just for ourselves. We're doing it because we want to inspire the people around us. Um, and you're doing it, you know, you got your mom and your cousin on it. And I know so many other family members are going to be joining and your story, like seeing you today do a, a handstand, you know, knowing your background, because not many people know how difficult, how impossible that was for you a few years ago when you're, you know, your spine autoimmune disease. So it's like to see people what, like transform and come into these like superhuman levels. It's just, it's what we, why we do what we do every day and so grateful. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Shari, to um, wrap us up here. And thank you all so much for all the shares today, everyone. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, everyone, for your share. So for the call to action this week, we are still focused on our 90-day subscriptions. Why? Because why not, right? It's as you've heard here today from so many people who are seeing such amazing results, just a couple of weeks in, imagine what 90 days does. And it takes at least that long to start forming sustainable habits that are going to hopefully last a lifetime. That is the goal. And it's absolutely doable. Uh, this becomes a lifestyle and 90 days is a great starting point. So if you're not on a 90 day subscription already, then the perfect time to start one and invite, invite people, talk about it. Um, if you've already tried Perium and you're not new here, then you know, you know how it makes you feel. You know how great you're feeling. Share that um, and uh, get people on it. So strive for 10. Why not? Let's strive for 10 people um, and book those connect calls either with your upline um, or just book a call to have a conversation. We could do this so many ways. So many social media gives us such a great reach. Um, but don't underestimate in-person conversations as well. Um, there's nothing like trying some of our amazing superfoods for people to really get how this is different. There's just something about um, the vibe of it. I don't know. I can't even, even describe it, but so many people who have tried it in person um, who were reluctant, you know, through social media or by phone um, had a completely different reaction when they got to see it and they got to smell it and they got to taste it. So don't underestimate in-person conversations as well, but either way, um, let's get more of us uh, going on this 90 day subscription and let's share, let's share this amazing, uh, these amazing superfoods and all the amazing transformation stories that come along with them. And I'm not sure, am I doing um, the close out, Naeva, or yes? <laughs> okay, okay. So next week, uh, February 23rd, our next Fierce Friday call will be Energized from Within the Secret to Sustainable Energy. This is, of course, another call you're not going to want to miss. We're going to be highlighting 
certain superfoods that are fantastic for sustainable energy. We all want sustainable energy, right? Um, and that's in fact, one of the very first things that I uh, experienced on these amazing superfoods was how much energy I had. And that has been sustainable over the last three years. So we will be diving deep into that and discussing that we will have some more amazing transformation stories for you as well. Um, and how it has helped so many people with their energy. And of course, don't forget to first like, follow, and share. So like us on Facebook at the Million Mom Movement and join our community Facebook group, Million Mom Movement Official. That's where we post these calls afterwards. Um, we, we we love to get that group uh, interactive. So we'll often post questions and, and comments and stories. So if you're not already part of that group, then definitely come and join us there to continue some of the conversations and to see the recap from our Fierce Friday calls. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and tag us in your stories and post naiva is absolutely amazing at keeping up with all of it um she will find your posts and she will reshare them um both on our page and on our stories as well and subscribe to our youtube channel i cannot say that enough our youtube channel is where we post all of these amazing calls it's such a gold a golden source of uh, such a golden tool, I should say, for all of us to use. Um, there are so many first Fridays, like I keep saying, when I first joined um, Purium, not even as a council member yet, but just part of the movement, I would eat these calls up on YouTube. I would just listen to them. I would have them play in the background while I was making supper or doing laundry or whatever it is. Um, there's such so much information there. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get access to all of those free replays. And back to you, Allison. Thank you so much, Sherry. And thank you everyone for joining today. If you love this, share this with a friend and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone.